John, you're on the fan. Go ahead, John. This is John Hicks. Hey, hey John. John Hicks. John, yeah. how are one you? of the all-time greats. Let me give you the real facts. Odell was in charge of the expansion committee for the NFL. And he was running all the, he was looking at all the expansion proposals. And Odell's a bad businessman, Eric. Bad businessman. He, he did all kind of other side deals in Cleveland. Remember the Stouffer Hotel on, on Terminal Square? He syndicated that. It didn't go well. He gave it back to the banks. Well, the, the banks in Cleveland got tired of him doing side deals that didn't work, and he kept feeding it back to the banks and using the browser collateral. They cut him off. And then the last but not least, Mike White, the mayor of Cleveland, he and I grew up together. And we, we would stare at him through that whole maze with the NFL. And, and, and what happened was, Modell wasn't patient enough to cut a deal for Cleveland, new stadium, because he, he rushed to take the Baltimore deal. Yeah, that was it, John. Talking to John Hicks, the great former Buckeye, uh, first-team All-American, Outland Trophy winner, Lombardi Trophy winner, grew up in Cleveland. So you were a teenager in the glory years, correct? Oh, oh yeah. Those guys lived in the same neighborhood we did. And I went to high school right around the corner from where they practiced. And they're my lifelong friends today. I'm talking about, you know, uh, Goosby and Jim Brown and Bobby Mitchell and Shaft Raff and John Wooten. And, you know, those I know it's Ben Davis. You know, I knew him when I was like 11, 12 years old, chasing them balls for him. And now they're my, you know, I know him today. And Cleveland got screwed. No question. I think you just bottom lined it for us. That's the summary. That's it. Cleveland, Cleveland, yeah. Cleveland got screwed. Every other franchise that's got a new stadium got a Super Bowl, except Cleveland. And it's all because Art, yes, Art was broke. He had he hadn't been paying his bills for ten years. He had minority partners, the McBride family, and he had the Lerner family. Um, consequently. When he grabbed the Baltimore deal, which he was the chairman of the financial committee, he did. He was he was the rest of the league penalized him and didn't didn't give him a piece of the Houston franchise money, which was five thirty five coming in. Wow! And so he didn't get a he didn't get his share of that money because they divided up by thirty two. And he didn't get any of the Cleveland money because it was it was and that. So, John, so Art didn't make any friends when he made that move. It wasn't a family thing. He was broke. John, thank you so much for calling in. Really appreciate it. You're welcome anytime. Just such a privilege to talk to you. Thank you for taking the time, sir. Bye. Thanks, Hexie. One of the all-time greats, right there. Oh well, yeah, he's first player to ever start in three Rose Bowls. He was part of monster teams and. Uh, you know, I mean, he's a lot of one people, of the greatest Buckeyes yeah, of all time. And a time. lot of people don't remember that he was the last lineman, really, to be runner-up for the Heisman. That's, that's runner-up for the that's Heisman. saying something. Let that marinate a little bit. John Hicks calling into the program.